Hi everyone, welcome to my vegetarian kitchen. If you're a fan of street food, then you're gonna love this outrageously delicious recipe that I'm sharing with you all today. A twist on the classic Gujarati Tokla, this paneer stuffed sandwich Tokla is soon going to become your new favorite. Soft, light and fluffy, this popular Gujarati snack will surely impress your guests. Let's begin. In a clean bowl, add two cups of basin, half a cup of suji. To this, we're going to add some freshly grated ginger, turmeric powder, some salt to taste, and a pinch or two of hing. Now slowly pour room temperature water. I will suggest to add water in batches to ensure that we have the right consistency. We do not want the batter to be too watery. The amount of water needed depends on the quality of flour. To start with, we're going to add 1 cup and then add as required. Stir well to combine. The consistency of the batter is key to get a spongy dhokla. We want the batter to have a ribbon-like consistency as shown in the video. We're now going to allow the batter to rest for about 15 minutes or so. This will help the basin and suji to absorb water, giving us the softest hokla. The batter is well rested. Now add an eno fruit salt with just a little bit of water on top to activate the salt. Give it all a good mix. Notice how the batter increases in volume. It will feel very light as if it has been filled with air. Give it all a good mix. And now immediately pour the prepared batter into a pre-greased container. An important tip here is to make sure that your greased steaming pan is ready and prepare your steamer while the batter is resting. As once you add fruit salt, the batter must immediately be put to steam. We're going to put the lid on and allow this to steam for about 15 to 20 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. While that steams, let's prepare the tempering for the dhokla. In a pan, pour some oil, add in a couple of dried red chilies, mustard seeds and allow them to splutter. We're going to add a few sliced green chilies along with a handful of chopped curry leaves. Cook until the leaves are crisp but not burnt. We're now going to add in lemon juice mixed in with some water, sugar, add in about 2 cups of water, mix well and allow the water to come to a boil. The exact measurements are mentioned in the description box below. Once done, turn the stove off and keep aside and let the water cool. Let's check on the dhokla. And just look at that. It's steamed to perfection. Once the dhokla cools down a bit, using a knife, gently slid along the edges to loosen up the sides. Now place a serving plate on top and then flip it upside down to unmold. And just look at that beauty. Perfectly steamed, soft and spongy. We're now going to pour the cooled tarka over the dhokla, making sure that the tarka and the tarka water gets onto the sides as well. Now using a sharp knife, cut the dhokla from the center, pour the tarka well on top of each round. You can cut the dhokla in any shape you like to make into a sandwich. You can also serve this dhokla cut into pieces with any chutney of choice. But I was craving for a layered dhokla sandwich and this is the one that I love. So I'm using a round cookie cutter to get that perfectly round dhokla sandwich 
Simply insert the cookie cutter into the prepared dhokla and then carefully lift once cut. Let's get ready to plate. Spread some coriander chutney around the cookie cutter to get that perfectly round circle. Now place the first cut round of dhokla onto your serving plate. Spread some sweet tamarind chutney on top on the rough side of the cut dhokla. Sprinkle some save. Apply a layer of some coriander chutney, a round cut slice of paneer. You can also opt for grated paneer if you prefer. Another layer of tamarind chutney, some more save, and then place the second hokla round on top. Garnish with green chilies, coriander, and grated coconut and serve immediately and enjoy. Like, follow and subscribe for more such recipes and remember to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. Happy cooking and thank you for watching.